In April 2019, Riot Games, a game publisher primarily known for the incredibly popular League of Legends and Valorant, changed their logo. This was a big rebrand that was both necessary and controversial. Designed 15 years ago, Riot Games' original logo was from an era where iPhones weren't a thing and flip phones were all the rage. In result, the logo was not built to be scalable, meaning you couldn't really use it for an app or a profile picture. Thus was born the flat design type and fist that most of you are now familiar with. At the time, this was met with skepticism, as is often the case with rebrands introducing flat design. People were worried that Riot Games had lost all of its personality and that they'd become too corporate. Little did we know, 2022 had a surprise in store for us. While some of you are still in the process of accepting the new Riot look, a storm was brewing in the headquarters, because the year just started, and with it came a new design. When Riot decided to present the League of Legends Season 2022 on their livestream, all the attention was on the gameplay rather than the visual identity. And so, this snuck in a new logo right at the end. This time, the typography was truly corporate, a geometric sans serif font, something that most people dread seeing their favorite brand pivot towards. Uh, I took it to Twitter to ask for people's opinions, including that of many designers, and the response was that the new logo was a straight downgrade. Sure, people like the new red, but when it comes to the logo mark and the logo type, both were met with confusion. The personality of Riot's visual identity was now much quieter, which is odd when your company's name evokes violent outbursts. My name is Ike, I'm a designer, and I thought to myself, what did Riot mean to accomplish with this rebrand, and can I try and reach those same goals without losing too much of the personality in the process? Just a bit of a disclaimer, this is my personal take on a subjective topic, and I do not have all the information that the Riot team has when it comes to the context behind this rebrand. So don't take this as an attempt to fix the logo, um, more as just a little bit of fun exploration with it. With that being said, let's take a look at what I was able to come up with, starting with the logo mark. When looking at Riot Games' logo from 2019, one of the first things you might notice is this slanted angle between the fist and the type, which makes it that much more surprising to see it gone in the newest version. This must have been a deliberate decision to accommodate for the new typeface, which is stricter than the last with how its letters are shaped. I also believe this makes it easier to use the logo mark and logo type separately. However, this throws the fist icon uncomfortably off balance. In my version, I decided to keep the straight edge, but I've grounded the logo mark with a perfectly horizontal thumb, something the 2022 redesign did not have. Another detail you might notice is that the gaps between the fingers are a more consistent width now, which I've increased for the sake of scalability. The size of each finger is also not as dramatically different as the new logo mark, and the overall shape of the knuckles shifts the weight towards the middle, something that was fixed from the 2019 version. For some finishing touches, I thought putting this logo mark in a shape other than a square or a circle would allow for more playfulness and more punch. A hexagon does the trick beautifully, especially when you rotate it a few degrees. Let's wrap up this redesign by looking at the typeface. The biggest issue I spotted in the first logo type is how narrow the word games is. It's so squished that it becomes problematic to scale down the logo too much. This was an issue which the 2019 rebrand was meant to fix, and it's probably still the number one reason we're seeing a new design less than three years later. However, I'm not personally fond of the typeface Riot Games chose to solve this legibility issue. A sans serif font will always remain the best in this category, but will often kill all the logo type's personality in the process. Bummer. What if I told you there was a way to increase legibility without sacrificing too much of the uniqueness of the type? I started off with some custom designs, which didn't quite work out the way I wanted them to, especially the second word. So, I looked for a typeface on Adobe font with no curves, and guess what? Mac Pro is the perfect match. 
If anything, it's just a little too wide, but that's something we can easily tweak with some Illustrator magic. I then reintroduced the capital R from the initial logo, which I just love so much. And that, my friends, is a wrap. So, what do you think? Did I do a good job at capturing the personality of Riot Games, or do you think all corporations are soulless and don't deserve nice things? Let me know in the comments below, and because this is my first video, feel free to like and subscribe if you would like to see more. It would help me out a lot. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I wish you a wonderful day.